Hi, I'm Pete Scazzaro, co-founder of Emotionally Healthy Discipleship, where we help leaders around the world grow their people into mature disciples of Jesus. In the next few minutes, I want to give you a basic introduction to Emotionally Healthy Discipleship and show you how it's helped thousands of people move from a shallow Christianity to a deep, authentic relationship with God, themselves, and others. If you've been in ministry for any length of time, I'm probably stating the obvious when I say that leading people into genuine life change in Jesus can be incredibly difficult. Yet our ability to make mature disciples of Jesus affects everything that happens in our churches. Leadership development, outreach, worship, healthy community, even giving. I felt this tension for years when I planted New Life Fellowship Church in New York City back in 1987. We did discipleship the way most churches do today. We were connecting people relationally to a small group or ministry, challenging them to serve, inviting them to give of their time, talents, and treasure. But I became discouraged when I realized people in our church were only changing on the surface. They weren't growing up. They stayed spiritual babies instead of growing into mothers and fathers in the faith. As one person said to me, I was a Christian for 22 years, but actually I was a one-year-old Christian 22 times. I just kept doing the same things over and over again. We simply recycled the same problems. So I tried every discipleship strategy I knew. I taught more Bible classes, I added prayer meetings, placed more emphasis on spiritual warfare, put greater focus on spiritual gifts, offered in-depth training on the gospel of grace. I tried everything. While all these are biblical and important, something was still missing. People weren't really changing, and I was exhausted. Sadly, I wasn't changing deeply in my own discipleship either. I was busy and overloaded. And then when one of our congregations had a split, I found myself depressed and angry with resentments I couldn't get rid of. And on top of that, Jerry, my wife, was unhappy and felt like a single mom raising our four daughters. In 1996, in this crucible of pain, God met me and Jerry. God helped me realize I was an emotional infant trying to raise up mothers and fathers of the faith with large parts of my own interior life untouched by Jesus. It became starkly clear to us that emotional health and spiritual maturity are inseparable, that it's not possible to be spiritually mature while remaining emotionally immature. In other words, if you're touchy, unapproachable, and defensive, it doesn't matter how gifted you are or how much Bible you know. You are, as Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, immature. As Jerry and I began integrating emotional health into our own discipleship, we found that sinful patterns in our families, going back three to four generations, were keeping us from living free and moving forward with God. We also realized our need to slow down our lives. So we took a four-month sabbatical to experience the power of silence and solitude. We recognized that our life of being with God had to be sufficient to sustain our work for God. And after experiencing our own transformation, we began to implement this in our church, and it was unlike anything we'd done or ever seen before. It is not an overstatement to say it was a revolution for our people. Our people discovered a whole new way to follow and relate to Jesus. We went from a busy doing church to being the church. We went from pretending everything was fine all the time to, to living whole new levels of truth, especially about ourselves. We no longer measured our spirituality by how much we did for God, but by how much we loved others. And as a leader, I went from feeling like a tired pastor working for God to feeling like a loved son who served out of a cup that overflowed from being with him. For the past 22 years, we have been doing research and development refining this material with churches around the world. And now we have turned this into what we call the Emotionally Healthy Discipleship Course, a course with two parts that you can run at your church. So let me tell you exactly how this works and what you should do if you want to move your people from spiritual consumers into mature disciples who move out into the world for Jesus. First, order the Emotionally Healthy Discipleship Leaders Kit. You will get this on our website, emotionallyhealthy.org. It has everything you need to run the course, books, workbooks, and DVDs that you will need. Second, get trained. Attend an online training where I will personally train you on how to lead this course for maximum impact and help you avoid common pitfalls. And third, run the course in your church. The Emotionally Healthy Discipleship course has two inseparable parts, Emotionally Healthy Spirituality, which focuses on loving God, and Emotionally Healthy Relationships, which focuses on loving others. Jesus made it clear that loving God and loving our neighbor must go together. You can't do one 
without the other. For this reason, the courses are inseparable. Emotionally Healthy Discipleship is a course, not a small group curriculum, meant to be run in a large group setting with people being led carefully through the material. Let me give you an overview of the course's two parts. Part one, Emotionally Healthy Spirituality, applies scripture deeply beneath the surface of our lives. For example, your people will look at David as a model of someone who is profoundly self-aware and broken, yet at the same time, passionately hungry and thirsty for God. Your people will learn that crises and losses are not to be avoided, but are gifts to be received where God transforms us into compassionate, humble people. Your people will also be taught to develop a Sabbath rhythm, a counter-cultural practice that goes against the grain of our 24-7 frenetic culture. Part two, Emotionally Healthy Relationships, shows people how to love others like Jesus. You might be thinking, do we really need to disciple people in loving others? Won't growth and passion for God be enough? That's what the religious leaders of Jesus' day thought as well. They were on fire for God, but they were terrible at loving people. And Jesus was not okay with that. In fact, it put them on a collision course with Jesus, who summarized the entire Bible as an unbreakable union of loving God and loving people. In emotionally healthy relationships, people learn how to speak clearly, honestly, and respectfully. They learn how to stop making assumptions and having unrealistic expectations, how to resolve conflicts in a mature way. They also make a genogram or map of their families going back three to four generations to see how it's impacted them in their relationships today. We're talking here about a discipleship revolution. That is what emotionally healthy discipleship is, a move away from present-day strategy of discipleship that simply gets people to connect, serve, and give, which is important, by the way, but results in only a few impacting the world, and a move to Jesus' slow, life-on-life -life strategy of discipling the 12, the 70, the 500, who had a massive impact. I know this is a lot to take in, but this is why you will need training to bring this kind of revolution to your ministry. Materials don't change people, Jesus does, but training will help you create the environment of applying scripture, silence, and stillness, along with safe community and good leadership to position your people so that Jesus can change their life. Here are five reasons you need to take the Emotionally Healthy Discipleship Training today. One, you'll learn a discipleship framework that really connects people to Jesus. Two, you'll move people from being consumers and spectators to disciples who make disciples of others. Three, you'll build a healthy community where your people don't wear masks and conflicts get resolved. Four, you'll identify and develop leaders that become pillars in your church that you can count on. And five, you'll get access to an emotionally healthy discipleship coach who will help you develop a customized plan for your church. I know your call to bring Jesus to the world runs deep inside of you, but we're never gonna do that unless we make disciples who are deeply changed by Jesus. If you're not seeing the fruit God desires for your ministry, if you're tired of feeling like everything depends on you, and if you're struggling to grow your people into spiritually mature adults that you can depend on, then I invite you to take your next step. So go now to emotionallyhealthy.org slash lead and get trained. I look forward to seeing you there.